good stuff here. It's kind of cool, this high compression spark plug thing. The bottom's wood. This is AC and then it says Leonard spark plugs on the side. That's Lord. the only one I've ever seen like it in my life. But I would sell it. What's your price on this? Now, I really don't want to do better than two on that. This is something that you kind of like? Yeah. How about if I give you the 250? That'd be the full 200 on this. $50 on that robot toy I picked up. Yeah, I guess so. You got it, buddy. Thanks. Sweet. I think $50 is very fair that I sold Frank that robot for. Very fair price. I look out the windshield and it's just like Volkswagens for as far as I can see. It's like we're crossing the desert. We're making the pilgrimage. Farfic Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got that right. I want to make sure right away he knows that I'm a Volkswagen guy. So I saw when we walked in, you've got, you still got split window stuff. Yes. It's gone off the map. And I'm kind of a dying breed here. You got a little bit of everything. Bugs, buses, trailers, and, uh, whatever is different. Mike? What do you got? Look at it. Oh, it's a there cutaway. You there you go. It's a factory there cutaway. Go. There you go. No way. What year is it? 61 to 65. It came out at the Volkswagen dealership. No way. A cutaway motor was brilliant because it was a hands-on piece. This would have been on the sales floor. A customer grabs a hold of that handle, starts cranking it around, and the salesman is telling him how the Volkswagen air-cooled engine was superior to everything else. <laughs> I don't see something like this every day. And that's what I'm looking for in this boneyard. I'm interested. You got one on the line. He's nibbling. 1800. I'd do two. You'd do two on it? Yep. Yeah. Man, I like it. Two grand, man. Okay, Michael. Nothing else was tarped. There was nothing else sitting on a pallet. This was special to him, and it's also special to me. Thanks, bro.